I got this letter in the mail today from Endurance. It's literally we're, 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 we've just been advised there will be a price increase to our extended vehicle service plans EVSP effective August 12, 2021. After that date, we will not be able to honor the service contract pricing designed specifically for your vehicle. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. As they uh, put it in the memes and whatnot. This Rebecca Patterson has uh, vehicle protection coordinator has uh, made an attempt to contact me about my vehicle's extended warranty, expire out of fa factory warranty due to time or mileage vehicle service plan. Prices will rise between $150 and $500 per year, depending on your make and, mile, like, make and mileage. Thing is, I don't, I literally don't even own a vehicle of any kind at all. So, um, this is complete BS because, like, you may have been selected to receive a special limited time offer from Endurance Warranty Services because of the make and model of your vehicle. Again, I don't even own a vehicle. I drive a Dixon Ticonderon, Di a Dixon Ticonderoga model HB2. And if you're actually wondering what that is and have never heard of the Dixon Ticonderoga model HB2, I'll tell you for why. It's literally a pencil. Dixon Ticonderoga HB2. I'm actually not much of a writer either, so, like, that's kind of a lie as well. I don't drive a Dixon Ticonderoga. Because I don't write very much. But... Anywho, uh, yeah, I thought that was amusing. Um, I was sent a letter regarding the extended warranty of a vehicle that I don't own. Thanks, Rebecca. Oh, yeah, um, I also wanted to mention... This was cool. Uh, last night, I was um, posting on Reddit and stuff. There's a album that came out a couple days ago, and I was planning on buying it, but I was a little bit short, and I was scraping together the funding to buy it. Um, Darius and Ratin, More Adventures, The Forever Field Trip. I, um, was saving up the money to get it, and, um, someone on Reddit literally bought it for me, gifted it to my Bandcamp account, um, so, the money that I was saving for that can go towards something more essential. I've still got the like seven bucks here and 25, 30, one, two, three. I was literally like two cents short because uh, 666 is the price for the um, album. But then you have to factor in tax, and the tax is $0.69 cents for 
my particular zip code. <laughs> nice. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, I was gonna have my, a friend, a friend of mine buy it for me and, and gift it to my Bandcamp account, and then I would give him the cash for it. But, um, someone literally, a, a, a stranger on Reddit, like, literally offered to, like, buy it for me. So, um, shout out to them. That was really nice of, of them. Um, this phone is the one that I, um, I use to connect to the internet. But actually, uh, so, like, the phone that I'm, yeah, so I, I can't, I, I, I couldn't connect with this phone right at the moment. I have the email, though, on this account. All right, here we go. Cobalt Swift Paw just sent you a gift on Bandcamp yesterday to me. And this phone doesn't have the uh, ability to read certain fonts also maybe because it's a Samsung but it's like an older Samsung anywho yeah shout out shout out to Cobalt Swift Paw um thank you for sending me that awesome gift Got a copy on here. But yeah, mostly this was about this and I don't know. Maybe I could um like actually call this number and like see like if I can talk to an actual person and be like, hey, why did you send me this? I don't even own a car. Like, why did you send me this thing? And uh, why do you want me to pay for an extended warranty for a vehicle I don't own? You fucking bastards. No, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's, that's about it for the moment. Um, I just, it was amusing. Like the I I the Reben trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty uh meme or whatever it is. Um there's finally like some experience to it. Just been advised there will be a price increase to our extended vehicle service plan. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <clears throat> Um, yeah, anyway, um, that's about it. I don't want to, like, go on too long. I'm still sort of waking up. Um, I'm gonna need to go, um, get lunch or something soon. I've been <clears throat> having, like, mac and cheese the last couple days. Um, I've been mixing mac and cheese with chicken noodle soup and those cans of chicken that we had. I've been, I've been using some of those. My dad's been using some of those. So, um, yeah, that's a, those have been good. Um, but like mixing the mac and cheese, I'll, I'll cook up two boxes of mac and cheese and then put a can of the chicken noodle soup in it and it's actually pretty good so um 
I would actually recommend it. Although I would probably recommend a better brand of mac and cheese, such as like Kraft, the uh, Kraft macaroni and cheese is really good. Probably like tons better than this. This is like a generic brand sort of. So yeah. Um, I've got these left, these big bags of pasta, but that's literally about it. There's not, I, I have been using stuff in the pantry. Um, we haven't had any, uh, pantry boxes or um, even like daily lunches that I used to get because like the school hasn't been giving them out. Like they were supposed to return at one point to be doing that, but they uh, never picked back up. So that's a little bit of a, of a shame, but... Um, it was still cool when they were doing it, so. But, um, my EBT will be good. I am running pretty low right now. Today is the 3rd, I believe. Yeah, August 3rd. My reload's the 7th, and, um... I've got, like... Yeah. Alright, I've got uh, 18.56 or so left on my EBT. On the 7th, they will reload. But for now, I'm running a little low, so I'm going to have to get some cheaper foods to keep me going. I mean, I do still, I do probably have enough food to like last me through the seventh and maybe a little past it, but I am going to want to get some cheaper stuff from the store, like some ramen noodles. Get a pack of top ramen. That'll be that'll be good. I haven't had ramen noodles in, in a little while. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll get some like zero calorie cola to enjoy. And um, yeah. So, uh, that's, that's it for the moment. I'm going to get going, so I'll see you later.